So last week, uh, there was an article that was released uh, by Kotaku talking about uh, the Bioware game Anthem and how it was moving back uh, to 2019. In this article, there was a mention of the possible end of Spator development and uh, that plans are still up in the air for the game. It's taken a while, but I really wanted to talk about this and discuss this with you guys, so here it is. So I'm just going to get straight to, to the point. So I believe that uh, Spator development isn't actually ending but I feel more or less that it has slowed it down. I guarantee that you guys can agree with me on this, is uh, obviously the development has slowed down because there aren't as many developers working on the game, but uh, definitely, you know, a lot of people were kind of shocked and surprised by this article just with the, the inclusion of Star Wars The Old Republic when it was mainly talking about Anthem and just the other things that relating to Bioware. Now, we also saw a update by Keith on the Star Wars The Old Republic forums, just mentioning that the new roadmap is being worked on, and also mentioning that they won't release details for patch 6.0, aka most likely the new and next expansion for the game. So I feel like that developer, I guess say like post, was kind of like a indirect response, just saying, you know, hey guys, we still are working on some stuff, don't worry about it, and all that different stuff. Now, besides that, like I said, I feel like the main thing here is uh, a lot of people are just absolutely shocked. They're like, oh no, the game is completely over just by this article. Now, I do agree, once again, I do agree that uh, the development in the game has uh, definitely slowed down. I guarantee, I mean, almost anyone can just look at it. If you just look at, like, this year, for example, I mean, just like, obviously the year hasn't really started too much, but in general, if you look at, like, the past a few months, versus, you know, a, a couple of years back or just, you know, like a year or two back. You can see that the development has slowed down quite a bit. And uh, obviously, once again, I mean, that is most likely due to uh, less developers and stuff uh, not being worked on the game because obviously they are working on Anthem. And the big thing that people are talking about is, you know, they're shifting all these developers away from Star Wars The Republic just to work on this game that has now been pushed back. Now, once again, I can agree that this is most likely the case. Obviously, they aren't just pouring in resources into this game, as it is very apparent just by the constant new cartel pack updates, whereas we don't see it as new content you know, being released on a consistent basis. But I mean, I feel like it's okay in the sense that, uh, you know, just with the current uh, development, essentially if you are just playing this game and you know how the new content is being released, you most likely know that it does take a while for the new content uh, to actually be put into the game. So I feel like uh, just the current uh, way, it's not going to really change it too much, which, uh, I mean, that is obviously kind of a bad thing if you ask me, just, you know, how with uh, just general development with the game right now. But they are really trying to work with what they have. But I am curious also to see kind of what they're going to be releasing with these new patches and all that different stuff. Because they are working on a roadmap. And it is, uh, you know, kind of uh, interesting just to see uh, what's going to be happening with that. But once again, uh, just mainly going back uh, to uh, this article. A lot of people in the community have uh, made uh, kind of like uh, different opinions and views on this. I know that a lot of people are just saying, you know, it's a not a just ending, guys. Like, don't worry about it and all that different stuff. And, I mean, I do like uh, those articles because a lot of these people have put in uh, some uh, good uh, research into it. And it also, I mean, still at the same time, even if you look at the Kotaku article, you do have to, like, give uh, credit to, uh, you know, the writer himself just uh, through the stuff that he's kind of, like, talking about uh, with uh, just Anthem and all the stuff uh, relating to uh, Bioware. But I think that is cool because, I mean, it kind of is speculation, essentially, because, I mean, there's, like, no confirmation with any of this stuff. But, it, I mean, it is kind of like a speculation fighting speculation, as someone put it. I don't remember where, but I think it was, like, on Reddit someone was saying that. Because, I mean, you really, it's, like, speculation just that, uh, oh, you know, development is ending. But also it's speculation just on, you know, our part saying, you know, that is not the case. Uh, absolutely no way. But I feel like I'm kind of, like, in the middle on it. Because, honestly, I feel like with the development now, they are really trying to work with what they have. I don't feel like development's going to like necessarily end, but I feel like just with the way they have been halting it, I feel like it, that's just kind of their way of saying they're just going to kind of like keep it on the uh, kind of like train it is on right now with just kind of releasing content and trickling it in every now and then. Which, obviously, I mean, for someone who plays this game often, I really dislike that. But I feel like in the scenario right now that we're in with the game, that is sadly going to be the case. 
and that's kind of the thing that uh, I've seen is I really want to kind of like be honest uh, with this video. I'm not going to say, okay, guys, you know, this is just a complete lie. I feel like there is uh, some backup to it, but I still believe at the same time that, uh, you know, development isn't ending. But I feel like they are going to kind of keep on this uh, trend of kind of just uh, the uh, slow uh, content and all that different stuff. And obviously a disclaimer, I'm really not trying to put my bias out there because obviously I am a Star Wars The Old Republic YouTuber. I'm just really trying to look at this kind of like objectively from someone who might not even play this game, just kind of looking at it. And I feel like, I mean, even that from that perspective, I feel like you would likely be able to agree that the content has been, you know, relatively slow for a, you know, a while now. And I can understand why that might be the case. But I feel like they still do like this game. They still are, you know, putting in time and just relating to it. I just feel like uh, when you don't have many people working on a game, especially a game that is, uh, you know, this uh, MMO, and obviously with an MMO, that's a lot of players and stuff uh, to just go ahead and handle. I feel like it is uh, pretty uh, slow right now. I feel like it still can turn around. But even then, I think it is uh, good, even that this article came out, because it has, uh, you know, kind of like a sprung a bunch of uh, discussion uh, from the community. I think that's good because it just shows that, that there are a lot of people still supporting this game and really care about this game. And obviously, I am uh, one of those people as well. But I really want to kind of look at this article from just a overall perspective. And that's just really, I guess, say, like, all there is to it. I know that there are some people just really just dissecting this and are going into, like, a crazy detail about it. And I do, like, give a major props to that people. But I feel like just kind of like a TLDR, especially with this video, is that I feel like, you know, there is some truth about that development statement. I feel like it has been slowing down as of recently. And it's not really, uh, you know, much else to it. I don't think uh, that the uh, development is ending. I feel like uh, that the uh, developer, or aka that forum post by Keith, it kind of confirms that indirectly. But uh, until then, I mean, we'll just have to wait and see. And just kind of learn what's going to happen with uh, this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, short uh, public video. Just me kind of discussing this uh, forum post and, uh, you know, what I see with it. As always, if you guys enjoy these videos, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.